It's been almost a month since the YSL raid happened. Rappers Young Thug and Gunna, alongside 26 of their associates, were arrested on RICO charges. While a lot of the media has been focusing on Young Thug, many seem to forget that Gunna was also locked up. True fans are itching to know every detail of Gunna's arrest, and I bet you're one of them. Keep watching till the end of this video to see what's really happening to Gunna in prison. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Interact with us, subscribe and hit the notification button to be notified when we upload more content. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. Thanks. Gunna Surrenders While the news of Young Thug's arrest shook the media, Gunna's name was also mentioned, but the details of his arrest weren't available. This was because Gunna wasn't taken to jail in a free ride in the back of a police car. He had to surrender himself after a warrant was issued for his arrest. On May 11th, 2022, two days after Young Thug's home was raided, Gunna turned himself in to the authorities for a gang-related indictment. The Pushin' P rapper was arrested and booked into Georgia's Fulton County Jail around 2.30 a.m. on Wednesday, May 11th. Unlike Young Thug, Gunna, whose real name is Sergio Giovanni Kitchens, is facing a single count of conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, aka RICO. Before he surrendered to authorities, Gunna had to put some matters in check. He carved out some time to see his family, and he also made sure his business plans were all arranged before turning himself in. According to insider reports, Gunna made it his top priority after the arrest warrant was issued to see his family before going to jail. The insider revealed that Gunna is a family man, and in everything he does, he puts his family first, especially his mother. Aside from setting his family straight, he also had to handle his business matters and put things in order. With his album DS4 Ever topping the charts, it may be difficult for him to get things done from a jail cell. Before he surrendered himself to the authorities, he had a project going on as he was set to release the music video for his popular single, Banking On Me. With all that on the ground, he had to fix up dates with the video release and other music projects. Gunna is, however, locked up in Fulton County, and he may not be out for a while. In a grand jury indictment, Gunna alleged that YSL is a criminal street gang. Young Thug was also charged with conspiracy to violate the RICO Act. Gunna denied bond. Of course, the next step after such a big arrest will be filing motions for bonds. However, both Young Thug and Gunna have been unlucky in that aspect. In his first appearance in court to read the charges levied against him, Gunna pleaded not guilty to the conspiracy charges to violate the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations, or RICO, Act. Gunna had his first hearing on Monday, May 23rd, where his lawyer, Stephen H. Sato, proposed a number of bond conditions to the court, hoping that the judge would grant the rapper's release on bond until his trial. Some of the conditions Gunna's attorney, Steve Sato, proposed include a $750,000 secured bond and Gunna to be placed under house arrest accompanied by electronic monitoring. Gunna would also be subject to the forfeiture of three properties and allow prosecutors to record all of his phone calls. His parents would also be forced to put their homes up for collateral, meaning if Gunna ever jumps bail, the government could seize his parents' houses. In an email to news outlets, Gunna's lawyer, Sato, wrote, the court was obviously concerned about threats and intimidation of witnesses. We believe when the court hears evidence, not just the words of the prosecutor, it will find that Sergio's release on the bond will not, directly or indirectly, pose a significant risk to witnesses. We look forward to having an evidentiary hearing on this as soon as the court permits. According to reports, Gunna's bond was denied because the judge believes that he is a threat to witnesses in the case and the other folks tied to it. It is unsure if Gunna will be released on bond, however, the judge has asked his legal team to file a new motion. According to reports, Gunna will have a hearing on his bond request sometime in the month of June. Prosecutors build case against Gunna. As hard as Gunna's legal team is fighting to keep the rapper out of prison, the prosecutors are fighting harder to make sure he stays behind bars for a long time. According to reports, the prosecution has allegedly built a case so strong 
that they have now identified Gunna as a documented gang member who would direct YSL troops to enact violence. They believe that since Gunna worked side by side with Young Thug, he may have the same commanding role as Young Thug in the YSL gang. Although the prosecution is trying really hard to build a case against Gunna and Young Thug, many people have come out to deny the allegations levied against the YSL organization. Metro Boomin and Machine Gun Kelly are some of the popular names that have stood up for Young Thug, Gunna, and the YSL organization against their prosecutors. Metro Boomin took to his Twitter to show his support for YSL. YSL is not a gang, and never been a gang, fool. YSL is a registered LLC, and has provided countless jobs and opportunities for underprivileged black people. And really just all people, cause that's how big Thug's heart is," he wrote on a tweet. According to the prosecution's report, Gunna's alleged RICO acts in the indictment were committed between September 2017 to March 2022. The allegations include theft by receiving a stolen firearm, possession of drugs with intent to distribute, and participation in gang activity, and a traffic stop for speeding involving vehicles that purportedly were armed with an AK-47 and other weapons. The prosecution also cited Gunna's lyrics and social media posts, including his June 2020 appearance in Lil Keed's Fox 5 video, where Gunna wore YSL and slat pendants while rapping, we got 10 hundred round choppers. Both Young Thug and Gunna will have their lyrics used against them during the trial. The indictment already quotes Young Thug's rap from 2018 in the song, Anybody. I never killed anybody, but got something to do with that body. Many rappers have tried to propose a bill to prevent rap lyrics from being used as evidence in certain states in the US. Rappers Jay-Z and Meek Mill are some of the rappers that have proposed this bill. District Attorney Willis has shown that there are no issues with authorities using lyrics as evidence. The First Amendment does not protect people from prosecutors using music as evidence if it is such, she said during a press conference. One of the songs cited in the indictment is Take It to Trial by Young Thug, Gunna, and Yak Gotti from last year's YSL compilation, Slime Language 2. The song made it to the indictment because of the lyrics where Young Thug raps, For my slimes you know I'll kill. Do you think Gunna would be granted bond? And do you think he's guilty of the RICO charges against him? Join the conversation and let us know in the comments section below. That's the end of today's video guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content. Also, don't forget to smash that like button and leave a comment down below. Thanks.